It's me, it's me, it's Brandon T. Welcome back to another episode of Painting with Magic. On this episode, we're going to do another full painting uh, using a canvas that I stretched myself. And if you want to learn how to make your own canvases, you can go to the link below and check out that video on how to make your own stretch canvases. I'm using today, I got the amazing white medium on the canvas. And if you want to know how to apply that, you can check out the uh, link in below. And I'm using my signature oil paints today. And I have a video on YouTube about those as well. So I'll tell you what, let's get started. Let's take a little bit of the Elizarin Crimson, not too much Elizarin Crimson, just a tiny little bit on the two and a half inch brush. And everything I use today, you can just about get in the Painting with Magic Deluxe Kit. Probably all the tools. So let's grab a little Elizarin Crimson. Not too much, a little bit. Let's go right, right up here now. Yeah, we're going to use a little X stroke. That was a beautiful color. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. I love that color a lot. It's really beautiful. And you can see how the amazing white works. It just lets it get lighter and lighter. That's our colors blend out nicely. Kind of let it feather up a little bit. Just a little bit more. And we'll put some in the water too. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Put some of that in the water. Maybe it's a tiny bit more. Okay. And you can have it as dark of a pink as you like. And this all depends how much brightness you want, how much pinkness. You know, the more the pinkish burn, the more kind of the sun's in here. And it'll warm you up. So if you don't like too much of this pink, you can use whatever color you want. It can be all blue today, or it can be a nice yellowy, orangey sunset, however you want to do it. Okay, now let's take a little tiny touch of some Prussian blue. Not too much. Just a little bit. Because it's a very strong color. And just to test it to see how much we got. I know it's probably going to be not enough. And it's not. We'll go back and grab a little bit more. I kind of want a lavender color to come out of this. That's better. I'll probably go a little darker, but i just put this on here first and see how we like it. You can make it as light or as dark as you like it. Okay, I want to go a little bit darker. So I add a little bit more blue, Prussian blue. Maybe a touch of crimson with that. Okay. That's a lot better, I like that. Now I'm going to use one corner of this bottom of this brush, and I'm just going to do some circles. Can make it look like there might be some clowns kind of living in there. Okay. And then, what I'll do is I'll just grab some more Prussian blue. You'll start seeing them clowns come out there more. And let's go back up there. And that's good. Oh, I like that. Let's kind of do some circles here. Run some circles around. Maybe a tiny little touch of some black with that. Every black is a tiny little bit. Maybe a tiny touch of crimson. A little touch of more blue. Back up there we go again. And over here. Oh, that's a color. That's what I'm going for right there. So just keep doing it till you get the color that you like. Don't go too dark. Right off the bat. I'm going to put that in the water. Maybe a little bit more blue. Touch of black with that. There we go. Get rid of your red because it will we'll, um, kill it instantly. Then I'm going to grab another clean, dry, two and a half inch brush. I'm just going to blend everything together. Alrighty, now I think it's time to make us a big, super strong mountain. Take some ivory black. Blizzard and Crimson, 
It's Prussian blue. Maybe a tiny touch of titanium white with that. Something nice and dark like that. I'm going to get a little roll of paint around the old edge of your knife. Let's go up here now. And just decide how you want your mountain to go today. I want mine to kind of live in this red stuff. Kind of make a range going here. Maybe one a little taller. However you want it to go. That's good. Okay. Maybe one goes right there. All the way across them. Some go all the way across. Tell whatever you want to go. Big, big nice ridge here. Can just scrape them out a little bit. We don't care what's going on down here. We just like these nice, these nice little tops going on. That's all we want right now. That's all you need to worry about. These nice little points and little peaks and all these nice little things. There we go. Make sure you get different little things going on. Now let's wipe off the old pound knife on a paper towel. Now let's use that old dirty two and a half inch brush. And pull them out. And we can leave this mist here. We can leave a nice roll of mist here. It'll make it look really good if you like. Just let them go right down there. So we're going to leave it a nice roll of mist. And we'll grab the old pal knife. Let's take some titanium white. Now we have two different titanium whites on the website. One's our new titanium white. And this one's our regular titanium when it comes in our set. There are two different types. Throw it out. Get a little roll of paint. Not too much going on there. Let's go up here. Man, what's well, there's a mountain. Nice. Thing of snow is up here. No pressure going on. Not too much. Maybe it goes down. I'm getting tiniest, tiniest little bits of paint. Not much at all. This paint's so good it don't take much. A little bit on this one. We don't want too much snow on these mountains today, I don't think. However you want to paint your mountains. You may want to Mountain that looks like it's a blizzard. Tell ever you want to paint your mountain. See those nice little bumps and breaks. That's what you're going for. It's a nice little mountain. And we'll put some breaks over here. Think however way you want your mountain range to go. It's a good old mountain. I love doing these mountains. They're so fun to do. You can get all kinds of practice with your knife doing this. Now you need a good paint and a good medium to allow your paint and your mountains to work. Okay, see all these nice little breakages. And... Okay, let's make a little shadow color now. I'm going to take a little bit of Prussian blue and this titanium white. 